In this video, we're gonna learn how to make leaf packs. Hey everybody, it's Tara Mens, Leaf Pack Network Administrator, and let's get started with making our packs that you're gonna put eventually in your stream. First off, get that handy dandy manual that will come in your kit, or you can find it online, and turn to chapter two, page 19. And in this, you're gonna see all of the supplies that you're gonna need, a nice little chart up top. So what do we need? First off, you're gonna need a bunch of dried leaves, three different kinds from your local stream and watershed. And I've collected these already, I dried them, I put them in bags, and I stored them over winter so that I can monitor this year at some point in time. So just be sure you watch out for them and make sure they're not too crumbly, um, that they will actually crumble too much and go right in between the onion sacks um, holes there. You'll also need your actual onion sacks, or sometimes you can use lemon or lime sacks. I've actually recycled an old one that has gone through one leaf pack monitoring already and it's still good, so I'm gonna reuse that one. I'm gonna bring in an actual onion sack that I'm reclaiming from um, a bag of, say, onions, and then I've got a new one here. So I'm just gonna be making three today. Then you're gonna need your label that's waterproof. So you can write all kinds of information about your location, what types of leaves you put in, and how um, heavy this is. And then you'll need a Sharpie. You'll also maybe need your tree finder so you can identify your leaves. <laughs> you'll need some nylon twine, some scissors, which I always forget the scissors. Um, and then you're gonna need some type of scale to weigh out your packs to make sure that they're all the same weights. Um, in the history of leaf pack, we've had these type of postage scales that are really nice. You can still use those. Or you can use the new digital version that comes with the kit. And with this digital version, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need a cup to put on top of it, and then one of the trays that comes in the kit. Okay, and the last but not least, you are going to need a copy of the field data sheet, which you can print off from the website or make a copy out of your manual so that you can record the data about your pack weights and what is inside your packs. So next, place the scale on a flat, level surface. Then place a lightweight plastic cup on the scale. Note the cup does not come with a kit, so you'll have to provide your own. Then place a sorting tray on top of the cup. This allows for weighing the leaves without crumbling them. The sorting tray does come with your kit. Then press the on tear button to turn the scale on and zero it. Make sure that the scale is in the gram mode. Then place an empty plastic mesh bag in the tray and record the weight of the mesh bag. Are we having fun yet? Then remove the bag from the tray, and we're going to head on over to add some leaves. So open the bag all the way to the bottom to make it easier to insert the leaves. You may need to tie a knot if the bag is not sealed. Then add approximately 10 grams of leaf type number one, which here we're adding some sycamore leaves. Then add approximately 10 grams of leaf type number two, which here is tulip poplar. And you may need to go back to your scale to make sure that you're adding the correct weights. Here I'm just estimating for the purpose of this video. Then add approximately 10 grams of leaf type number three, which here is red maple. Then place the mash bag with the leaves on the tray. Record the final weight and the types of leaves you have in the bag. Then you'll want to repeat these steps to create two more leaf packs. Complete a bag tag for each mesh bag using the waterproof marker and label. Then place a bag tag in each leaf pack bag. And tie one knot in each leaf pack bag to close it and you just need one knot, one and done. And lastly, loop a long length of nylon twine through the mesh of each bag, 
so that the leaf pack can be attached to a large rock or rebar. And there are many different ways you can do this. Here I'm just placing the nylon string along the long axis of the leaf pack bag itself. You can also tie it from just one end. Then head off into the sunset to your creek.